there's the seven of cups again and you question you did question whether or not maybe like you were even going to have love in your nearby future with that hermetic card you might have been like listen i'm okay being in the house single <laughs> i know the energy i'm okay being in the crib reading the book no problem but i feel like once this partner comes and it could be someone from the past with the six of cups it would be remiss of me not to say it you're gonna say immediately yes and i'm actually gonna tag that reading you're gonna say immediately yes bottom of the deck last card 30 10 when i said that the four energy let's build really quickly bottom of the deck let's see the five of cups about five minutes ago oh i feel like you're saying goodbye to being single that almost hurt my stomach Ugh, i feel like it's gonna be a big change for someone for sure but now that whatever spiritual sparring you had to just go through one way you're victorious it pushed you within yourself and because you went within yourself someone's about to pull up quickly and just be like yeah if you weren't sure if walking away made you completely happy. But you're richer than you've ever been <laughs> after making this choice. Because now you have the clear communication from spirit as time passed, clarifying there. And it allows you to develop new inspiration. So, to be inspired is to be within spirit. So at first you were playing alongside spirit. Now you understand as time has passed that you are within spirit by allowing yourself to rest. Very Piscean of you. Ooh, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. That was interesting how I say it. They understand it best. If I get in this bed and I go to this bed and rest with a spiritual calm, then my dreams will tell me everything I need to know. Clarifying that Pisces energy, it will tell me everything I need to know. The sun card, it will illuminate. Look at the, look at the, look at the mother and father right there. The sun and the moon, it will illuminate everything within the darkness. Number speed, down production, take one. It's the low five vibes. Let's see what comes out. First card out, the Ten of Cups. I was about to say, I encourage you to follow me on Instagram. You could DM me there if you're looking for personal readings. If you are. With that Ten of Cups, it is about your ultimate satisfaction. That which feels good. You have every cup that allows you to feel, to, to feel fulfilled and to feel sort of like thy cupeth run over. But here it's all of the cups are running over. Ultimate satisfaction. Followed by the lovers. Okay. So a choice is making you feel absolutely fulfilled. The death energy, death card, meaning a new. Don't be afraid by the death card. Bottom of the deck. Ooh. Seven of swords. And you played your hand well. Gemini energy on the table, Scorpio energy on the table. Again, you've achieved ultimate satisfaction by making a choice to cut something something off and you played your hands well. So maybe this happened, you know, like maybe you had a couple of trials with whatever this is, right? I said you played your hands well. Maybe there was a couple of rounds. Overarching energy, the five of swords. Hmm, I feel inclined to read this to you. Can I read to you? Okay. Let me go ahead and ask for consent. The Five of Swords is an interesting card. The Five of Swords reads, a disdainful man looks after two retreating and dejected figures. Their two swords lie upon the ground. He carries two others on his left shoulder and a third sword in his right hand pointed to the earth. He is the master in possession of the field. As far as divinatory meanings, it's degradation, destruction, 
reversal, infamy, dishonor, and loss. And I think that's exactly what happened. You played your hands well, and there are two people who had to walk away looking like losers. Two of ones. But you have infinite possibility to keep walking along your path. Wow. Let's get some more energy on that. The Ace of Pentacles, yeah. You had the opportunity to play your hands against some people, three of wands coming out. That was the business card related to the deck. Six of Cups, the Hangman, Aquarius Energy, and the Page of Cups. Bottom of the deck, the Moon card. <laughs> yeah, so let me continue what I was saying. 357, 358. 7, 15, 6. Yeah, let's get real empathetic. Let's open up the channel. You have the opportunity to play a game of chess, if you will. Okay? Let's call it cards as well. Whatever you want to play. Against two individuals. And perhaps once you ended up victorious, right? They clearly look like losers, right? You whooped on someone energetically by making a choice to end a game that they were playing that you didn't even know were associated with the rules of the game. There's some sort of trickery. So say you're playing like, say you're playing chess, right? And you think it's a traditional game of chess, but this person is playing like a variation of like chess and checkers. But when you look away, perhaps that's not really a focused player. You didn't see how they were gaming you while playing this game, okay? But really you stuck, you stuck to the traditions of chess and you just made all of the right moves. With this three of wands, you waited, you would allow time to pass so that time could absolutely be a player on your side. With the Six of Cups, you use all of the knowledge that you gained from the past. And with the Hangman and Page of Cups, you just allowed, you allowed yourself to appear to be the one that was defeated underneath the Death card, to be to appear to be the person that was the loser, but really, you knew that even though they were playing a game to trick you, you knew that you would have blessings on the way, offerings on the way, by just allowing them to appear to be the tricksters. <laughs> Let me not cross my heart chakra. With this moon card energy, big Pisces energy, you allow spirit to play the game with you. So it appeared to be that you were playing alone against two energies, but really the whole time you were playing with spirit on your side. There we go, it took a while to get it out. And as opposed to reacting right away, right, being, sort of triggered by the trick. That was that was the attempt, right? The trickster was trying to trigger you. Instead of that, you just waited it out, using everything you had already learned, and I'm about to clarify, you learned to be quiet from the Aries. Juvenile is an Aries. I'm referencing Juvenile, the artist. If you don't know who that is, come on. So you need to just be quiet, let it go. And the gift from spirit, right? The Page of Cups has this fish inside of this cup. It's only alive because of faith alone. That fish, look how giant it is. It can't really live in that cup. But you knew that spirit would take its own turn in the game of chess, right? So if you're playing as the human being here on earth, 
you knew that spirit would make their own moves, even if it was through you, to check me, these individuals. It doesn't feel like just one person. It feels like a couple of people acting against you. And the opportunity was in you right here, the overarching energy. The opportunity that presented itself was you having the opportunity to spar against these people to sort of prove your spiritual abilities. And this all happened outside of your doing. That's interesting. I'm thinking of the Capricorn reading where it was all about how when you fall back, you know, uh, more things manifest. So let's start to clarify. Clarifying the choice, the lover's card. Yeah, your choice was to walk away. The Eight of Cups is clarifying the lover's card. The death card is clarified by the Four of Swords. It's all going together. Instead of you... So in order to get to this Five of Swords, the way you won, the way you were able to be victorious over these two losers, right? It's because you rested. Ooh. Rest is the best resistance. You were like, all right, I'm gonna I'm fall asleep. I'm sleeping on this energy. <laughs> Clarifying the Seven of Swords, you have the King of Cups. There's the trickster. Someone was trying to trick you with your own emotions. And if this is a water sign, they're damn good at it. This is an emotional manipulator. So there's Pisces energy on the table twice. Could be a Pisces, could be a Cancer, it could be a Scorpio. There's Scorpio energy on the table twice. The Moon card, Pisces. The Death card, Scorpio. This person is an expert in this trick. And it looks like you could have walked from a Gemini too. Walked away from with that lover's card. That was the choice you made. Clarifying the Ten of Cups, you have the Seven of Cups. And I feel like at first, because of the emotional trick, 1017, when I said that, 279. Okay, here we go. Because of the emotional trick, you sort of got a little lost in the spiritual communication. Like you weren't sure if walking away made you completely happy. But you're richer than you've ever been <laughs> after making this choice because now you have the clear communication from spirit as time passed, clarifying there. And it allowed you to develop new inspiration. So to be inspired is to be within spirit. So at first you were playing alongside spirit. Now you understand as time has passed that you are within spirit by allowing yourself to rest. Very Piscean of you. Ooh, Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, that was interesting how I say it, they understand it best. If I get in this bed and I go to this bed and rest with a spiritual calm, then my dreams will tell me everything I need to know. Clarifying that Pisces energy, it will tell me everything I need to know. The sun card, it will illuminate. Look at the, look at the, look at the mother and father right there the sun and the moon, it will illuminate everything within the darkness. So as you were a bit unclear with the seven of cups on whether or not this was a good choice, would it bring you satisfaction? Would you be happy? There was a light at the end of the tunnel for you to be guided by. Wow, this is awesome. I love this reading. It's very telling. The hangman, yeah. You knew to give up and to allow your ancestors or spirit to whoop these, it feels like two people. It could be a couple that was like against you with the lover's car for sure. It, it, it could be two men that are a couple that were working against you. Wanting to see your downfall Marvin's room in the background. All right, have the Queen of Swords with the Page of Cups. 
And again, I was saying that was you relying on spirit to sort of make moves for you. Now you're uh, you're sitting above the clouds. Like you don't have to use your emotions. You can be completely logical about the situation. Again, you had the opportunity to spar and you given the opportunity to spar allowed you to show how wise you are. Let's see, what did these people even want? I mean, they wanted to trick you emotionally. So what were the motivations? These people just wanted you to be stressed out and to sort of like paint you as someone who's like stressed out, not someone who operates from a place of ease, but someone who operates as a place from a place of dis-ease. They wanted you to look like a diseased person, like someone who is not valuable. Clarify the Six of Cups. You using everything you know from your past, you already know that you have to trust in God. You already know that you cannot be the one driving the chariot. You already know that it is spirit that navigates for you. And that was how you whooped on these people. 1409, 145, 914, 5. There's the Five of Pentacles. That's how you whooped on them. <laughs> Like you already know. Ooh. Ooh, that was kind of hard to get the full card. And now you're at your zero energy. This song is called No Guidance. Yeah, honestly, they look like a bunch of zeros, like foolish. It was hard for me to pick up from the floor. They're like on the bottom floor now. They could have been, they could have been operating from like a high status, right? But now these people stuck on the bottom floor. The Empress car, why are you looking like the Empress? And this is the energy they wanted you in, that three of swords. But instead, you ended this with the death card and the four of swords and just moved on. That's actually what you told them. You got it. You got it. <laughs> it whooped on them and allowed the time and allowed the spiritual energy, your ancestors, all of that. Again, and you, clarifying the hangman and the high priestess with the page of pentacles, you realize the opportunity was in you not doing anything. You realize that the opportunity was in your ancestors responding. You didn't have to wiggle, 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 wiggle. I don't know why I heard that, but you didn't have to make a show of it. You didn't have to do a little dance. None of that energy. Three of pentacles. You didn't need a team. And that's so interesting. I really do feel like this is a couple or a team of people who are working against you. You didn't need a team. Three of Pentacles. That Queen of Wands trying to pop out. You need to absolutely be in spirit. Trust in spirit. Talk to your cat about it and it was going to be handled. Clarifying what was the guidance with the Moon card and the Sun card with the Five of Wands. It was like you were told in a dream specifically how people were hating on you. And it would always be haters that be sitting in the rear, dissing every year, but they better listen here. All right, let's pull from another deck. recording right but there's like groups of people like around like speaking doing things but here i am at full satisfaction all right let's see what the other deck has to say and let's turn this up because this song is too fire
see what deck number two has to say. Could be a continuation, could be a completely different narrative. Let's see what happens. First card out, the Knight of Cups. Talk about my love. That was the business card. Ooh, with the Hermit card. This card is beautiful. Virgo energy. The Knight of Wands. There's the lovers again. So now I feel like because you trusted in spirits offer with this Knight of Cups, this is the ghost tarot. And again, here's the light at the end of the tunnel. All right, so you went into hermetic form. You went into the shh, the quiet, the darkness. Because of that, you now have a spiritual offering from a lover. Not someone playing any tricks, but something coming directly from your new energy, your new spiritual alignment. The overarching energy here, the six, the six of cups. And that was out in the last spread. It's like you used all of your lessons and culmination to create your best love. And now you can see yourself holding hands. Ooh, the sun card clarifying the fact that you allowed spirit to offer love to you. Page of Swords, you study, that's clarifying the Hermetic energy. Wow, the King of Cups is back out under this new inspiration, huh? And the Lover's card, the Queen of Swords again. Bottom of the deck, the Death card. So new deck, similar cards, but it definitely feels like a brand new energy with that Death card. Underneath the Death card, oh, the Magician. Look at this Scorpio and Gemini energy back out. What's up? <laughs> Look at this Scorpio and Gemini energy back out. So again, someone is creating. Someone is creating from I don't like this playlist for real. So let's choose a new one. There it is. Someone's creating from this ending. With this lover's card clarified by the Queen of Swords, they now know, because of how this narrative played out, they now know exactly the choice they want to make as it pertains to, let me clarify the lovers right now. But I think it's as it pertains to how they feel emotionally fulfilled. It's like spirit. Okay, I got it. Like, say you've been getting the same lesson over and over again. 2141, I said that. That's a seven, right? So you've been given the same spiritual lesson over and over again. But now with the sun card, it's like you can finally catch the lesson for real. Like, you finally understand what it means. 50 when I saw that, the six, like you have the empathetic download. As it pertains to the choice, you're no longer gonna accept offers from knights, right? This is the knight of cups, but this knight doesn't even have the cup of love or the cup of passion. They don't even have the heart chakra expression available to give you. So you're not going to make that choice anymore. Clarifying the king of cups, you have the queen of cups. Interesting. With the knight of swords, there's the match right there. You're not going to choose the knight of cups. Instead, you're going to choose the king of cups. That person that is within full understanding as to how to emote 
how to feel and how to express those feelings, not really express, but how to feel and make decisions to love you based on those feelings. And the Queen of Cups is here to receive that love and then boomerang it back to him. This is underneath the Knight of Wands, so it's coming in quite quickly. What tried to land flipped over, so not upright, is the Tower card. It's like you finally get what you've been waiting for and it comes in like quick, unexpected. In the tower card, this card is, this tower, this card, but this tower is collapsing. So it's like perhaps, let me see, let me clarify. Two of swords, yeah. Perhaps you have the opportunity to no longer be single. And you're like, because it's coming in so quickly. I almost hear like the um, broadcasting, like alarm system when like communication systems are doing like a, a check or whatever like ding, ding, ding. like it creates a moment where you could check whether or not this is a good idea for you but with the king and queen of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy the reflected lovers really the couple on the table it seems like it's a match for you Clarifying the overall energy, you have the world card with that six of cups. So you need to say yes by using the culmination of lessons. Like you're going to be able to see whether or not this person is gonna try to drag you down according to this song, like drag you to prison, like prison of love or whether or not they're pulling up in full vib vibration. You, you should look up the lyrics to that song. Like, the lyrics are nuts. What fell on the floor? The Emperor card. And this was to clarify the Death card and the Gemini card. I'm gonna clarify again, but I really wanna say, woo, the Shrimp card. So, the foundational energy are all major arcana. This came out first, the death card with the magician, then the emperor card and the strength card. Listen, this union is coming straight from spirit. And I don't even feel like you'll have the opportunity to really say no to this person, whether you're female or male, because they're going to be in their emperor energy. They're going to be the best choice, the best option you have. And you don't want to snooze on this moment. Like, I really mean that. 260189, like, it represents a finality of a chapter where there were repeated lessons, but now finally you're in a new chapter with this King and Queen of Cups and there's a match made in heaven. I'm sorry to be so corny, but that's really what it is. Like you may be, even feel like it's too unreal to believe it. With this Queen of Swords clarified by the Ace of Wands, again, there's a new inspiration and you have full clarity on the type that you should not pick at this point. Clarifying the Sun card. Oh, okay. The Page of Pentacles. Because you understand that this love is coming directly from spirit, the Page of Pentacles is represented by an offer, but really I like to interpret it as the seed. I feel like it represents Taurus energy. Since it's like young, the page, I associate it with the baby of the earth signs, i.e. Taurus energy. So it's like you have the sun there to be the guiding light for the seed almost. And that's really what happens for a seed, right? When it's planted underneath the earth, it's growing towards the light. It's growing towards the sun. 27, 29 when I said that. 9, 11, 9, 20. The two energy right there. That which relates to the moon. So 
even the moon's light is working on the seed as well. But I really want to express the need for empathy here. If you're getting a love that's being delivered from spirit itself, then you have to be thankful as it pertains to this manifestation. Absolutely faithful. Clarifying the hermetic energy. Ooh. There's a lot of major arcana out on the table and I'll go through it in a second. So we have Taurus energy here. I was just speaking it up with the Virgo energy. It's like you went into your studies, right? That page of swords is right underneath it, but really you went into the darkness. Like you got all of this information from spirit. And because of that, look how awesome and beautiful this card is. Because of that, it's like the angels were looking down like he's ready or she's ready now. You have Aries energy on the table with the emperor, Pisces with the moon, Gemini energy, Oh, I'm sorry, Scorpio energy with the death card. Pisces, Gemini energy with the magician. Leo energy with the strength card. Gemini energy with the lover's card. And Leo energy with the sun card. So Leo's out here twice. Gemini's out here twice. There's the seven of cups again. And you question, you did question whether or not Maybe like you were even going to have love in your nearby future. With that hermetic car, you might have been like, listen, I'm okay being in the house single. <laughs> I know the energy. I'm okay being in the crib, reading the book, no problem. But I feel like once this partner comes, and it could be someone from the past with the six of cups, it would be remiss of me not to say it. You're going to say immediately yes. And I'm actually going to tag that reading. You're going to say immediately yes. Bottom of the deck, last card, 3010. When I said that, the four energy, let's build really quickly. Bottom of the deck, let's see. The five of cups. It's about five minutes ago. Oh. I feel like you're saying goodbye to being single. That almost hurt my stomach. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna be a big change for someone, for sure. But now that whatever spiritual sparring you had to just go through, one where you were victorious, it pushed you within yourself. And because you went within yourself, Someone's about to pull up quickly and just be like, yo. And you're going to be a tiny bit unsure of it, but immediately, yes. Bye.